Lawrence! By far, Kwong Lu, it has been too long. How have you been? Hey, Wilbur, I've been pretty good. How's your brother? Oh, you know. Still an abomination whose visage would drive a man mad. Of course. Think we will actually awaken for Kwonglu this year? Let's find out. <clears throat> it all made sense now. The missing cattle, the strange markings, the terrible dreams. The room was saturated with malignance. The space above that demonic symbol began to warp and stretch, like the fabric of space was growing an immense boil that would soon burst open to reveal the flesh and bone of the universe. We had to act. With the smallest of movements required the courage of a thousand soldiers, we leveled our arms and charged into the room. So you admit it, Mr. Howard? Admit what? Admit that you attempted to stop my clients from expressing their religious beliefs. I did nothing of the sort. Then why did they file suit against you for religious discrimination? They were attempting to summon an eldritch abomination that would devour the world. They were participating in the sacred awakening of Farquanglu, one of the holiest of ceremonies in Farquangluism. Mr. Howard, last I checked, we're in America. A country where the Bill of Rights says that everyone can express their religious beliefs without fear of persecution. Did you know that when you ran into the middle of one of Farquangluism's most sacred ceremonies with a shotgun? Objection! The prosecution is badgering the witness and wasting the court's time with needless theatrics. Sustained. We all know why we are here, Mr. Blackwood. No need to keep bringing the point up. Continue with your testimony. Well, at this point, the cultists broke from the circle and ran. Whether this was from our sudden entrance or the air above that arcane room beating like a great beast's heart, I do not know. Harry and I averted our gaze when that terrible creature emerged. Phillips did not. His sanity was shattered by the terrible things he saw. <laughs> How do you spell for Kwanglu? F A R Q U N G L U for Kwanglu. Mother of darkness, father of sin. Got it. How did you get out of there alive? So what you are saying is that you shot one of my client's holy figures in the face. It was going to devour the world. Not devour. Burn. Only from fire will utopia rise. Do you see? What I see is a sad little man trying to oppress anyone who doesn't share his beliefs. Objection, your honor. Mr. Blackwood's behavior is unbecoming of this court. Your client's behavior is unbecoming. Order. Order. <laughs> now then, if I may enlighten you all. The Bill of Rights defends the right to express religious beliefs, but it does not protect those from being criminally prosecuted for enacting them as established in Reynolds vs. the United States. Trying to summon an ancient monster to burn the world to a cinder breaks many state laws and local ordinances. Mr. Howard did the right thing in stopping you and is free to go. Glad that's over with. I think that all that stands between us and the ancient horrors of the abyss is the ruling in Reynolds versus the United States. Something was wrong with that trial. What do you mean? Where was the jury? And also, Reynolds versus the United States only applies to criminal cases. This is a lawsuit. But then why? 